Hammer is just synonymous with the genre of horror. And it's very interesting, and I think a perfect time uh, for it to, to come back and, and, and retake uh, a slice of the cinema world. And it's because horror at the time that Hammer started, people forget that really Hammer was synonymous, was absolutely the brand that was the studio. Um, it was so here. It was. It made Britain famous for horror in the USA. That completely took over Hollywood. And look back at the at the great days of uh, of British horror movies. And they were first of all the writing, the stories they come from were incredibly literary. The films were very very stylish. They launched uh, a number of really famous and enduring partnerships, uh, not least Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee, who were favorites of mine in, in the Dracula series. Um, but it's an absolutely perfect time for them to come back, and we need to get back into this, because in the 50s, when, when the original Frankenstein and the original Dracula uh, were made by Hammer, um, life was much more innocent and much more free than it is today. And the walls of society and the way we think and the way we react to the world around us has really shrunk a hell of a lot in the last few years. And so in terms of, of generating fear, which after all is a warning system. I mean, horror's not just for nothing as well. This is something I love. Um, <clears throat> just like a pain in your body and fear serves to warn you of something. And symbolic movies and movies that movies that put actors or stories books that put people in situations uh, which we haven't thought of or, w or which might appear supernatural uh, if they arouse fear in us that fear exists it's not that it's not that the book or the movie makes it from scratch but something we have inside it's touching on some darkness that we have and so there's a for me a really fundamental therapeutic process uh, there's a symbiosis that happens from from touching on the things that, that make you fearful apart from that it's fun to get that that twinge of fear uh, and so really more than any other word uh, across the last century hammer has come to possess the notion of touching the edge touching the edge of something and touching the dark and that they're now expanding and doing it in in uh, a new and modern way I think in a very necessary time to do it is perfect so I was very quick and very happy to get on board and see if I could scare the shit out of somebody including myself <laughs>